Coming to you from Radnor, Pennsylvania, this is your Location Sports Update. Hi, I'm Allie Stein and this is Sports on Location. And I'm Jill Nowaski and this is your weekly sports update. When Winter Storm Jonas struck the Mid-Atlantic region, the storm caused for some rescheduling for the Cavalier Winter Sports teams. The men's and women's swim teams were scheduled to compete at Swarthmore College to close their regular season on Saturday. Unfortunately, due to scheduling conflicts, the meet was canceled with no reschedule. As the Cavaliers head into their postseason, they will begin training for their final competition of the season, the AMCC Championship. The three-day competition takes place in Grove City, Pennsylvania and will begin on February 11th. Winter break is exactly that, a break. But when you're an athlete, you always have to be on your A-game. Let's see how the winter sports teams for Cabrini use the break to help prepare for the rest of their season. Over winter break, the swim team uh, stayed here. We came back early on the sec New Year's Day, actually, and we practiced until January 6th here, uh, twice a day, and then we left to go to Naples, Florida, where we then trained about three times a day outside in sunny Florida weather. The trip to Florida really helps the swim team because, you know, we're in the middle of the swim season in January. It's a very grueling time. Um, the training's hard, you know, we're getting ready for taper. We have to pack on the intensity, the yards, etc. So going to Florida uh, helps boost the morale to swim in the uh, sunshine. Uh, we are really training hard right now, or we just did. We're starting our taper and we're getting ready for our conference championship meet and we hope to pick up a lot of wins and some personal bests and do well. We're having two practices a day, uh, usually at like 11 and 4 or something like that, um, Monday through Sunday. And then um, I think Tuesdays and Fridays we were having games, but they were usually like one game a week over break. But we went on a winning streak, actually. We had a five-game winning streak coming back into the semester, so uh, we played pretty well over break. Over break, practice every day, two practices each day. Kind of tiring, but we made it. It was different for the freshmen. I'm sure it was like a new experience for them, um, just being up here and like nobody else being on campus and it just being us and us being together all the time. But um, everybody was pretty sore from two practices, going to a days. They were good, uh, intense. Uh, we were going hard twice a day, so. We definitely wanted to have a better record. Uh, there were some games that we feel as though we should have won coming into conference play, and uh, even in our conference, we dropped a couple that we definitely should have won, but um, we're looking to finish strong. So. We all wanted to be doing better at this point of the season, but I think we came, we kind of came a long way as a team this season. We were almost, we're probably at least halfway through, so we've grown a lot. We're just trying to finish the season strong. We wish all the winter sports teams good luck as they continue their training. The Cabrini women's basketball team came out on top this weekend as they dominated Cedar Crest College in a 72-39 victory. The Lady Cavs were originally scheduled to play Cedar Crest on Saturday, but due to the storm, headed to Allentown, Pennsylvania on Friday night. With the win, the Cavaliers moved to 9-8 overall and 6-2 in the Colonial States Athletic Conference. Be sure to head to Nearney Fieldhouse this Saturday to see both your men's and women's basketball teams compete against CSAC opponents. The Lady Cavs will compete against Keystone College and the men will face Karen University. Both men and women will host their annual alumni games as well. Now let's take a look at your national sports. After Sunday's matchups, the Denver Broncos and the Carolina Panthers will face off in Super Bowl 50. Denver is hoping to bring home their third trophy while tying the record of eight Super Bowl appearances alongside the Dallas Cowboys and the Pittsburgh Steelers. Peyton Manning will be appearing in the Super Bowl after the 20-18 win over the New England Patriots, which he could not have done without the remarkable effort led by the Broncos defense. After the huge 49-15 defeat in the NFC Championship over the Arizona Cardinals, the Panthers will be making their second Super Bowl appearance after scoring the most points ever recorded in an NFC Championship game. What will happen when the two number one overall drafted quarterbacks will fight face-to-face -face for the trophy for the first time in NFL history? We'll tune in on February 7th for the live coverage from Santa Clara, California to see the matchup in action. The Buffalo Bills recently announced that a new face will be joining their coaching staff, and that face is a woman. Katherine Smith is officially the first full-time coach in the NFL. Smith will be the special team's quality control coach while working alongside the team's coordinator, Danny Crossman, and assistant coach, Eric Smith. And she will handle breaking down a film, doing all the drawings, and working with scout teams. Smith might be the first female to have this coaching role, 
but she most definitely will not be the last. Thanks for watching Sports on Location. Don't forget to follow us on all of our social media platforms by searching Location News. I'm Allie Stein. And I'm Joan Oiski. Have a great week, Cabrini.